Speaker, Michael de Cahirley, and I want to thank Deputy Owner Bryn for bringing this motion again, and I, I will be supporting it. There seems to be confusion on whether the government is um, tabling an amendment or just opposing it full stop, and I've no idea how they could oppose this bill. It is very, very limited. It's limited in time and it's limited in nature, and it's to make provision to defer the termination dates of certain tendencies that fall or would fall during the period beginning on the day after the passing of the Act and ending on the 31st of March, and then there's a further phase basis. It's temporary, as I said, and it's very restricted. And Minister, it's the least we could do as a tiny part to tackle the housing crisis. And I stand here week after week since 2016, highlighting the housing crisis in Galway. Very often you're the minister because the senior minister has left. And I understand more than anyone that ministers are extremely busy, but if we have, 4,000 children homeless, that is a serious crisis where the minister should stay in the chamber and acknowledge what's happening as a direct consequence of government policy. Now, Minister, I, I have on this floor of the doll praised you in relation to matters for your own area in terms of heritage uh, and the environment, but in relation to housing, no praise is due whatsoever. It's, it's truly shocking. On the 23rd to the 29th of October, and it's got worse since, there were 13,179 people accessing homeless accommodation. At that stage, 3,991 were children, and that has risen to over 4,000, I gather. And as has been said repeatedly, that doesn't capture those in different categories that are not on the official list. Galway City distinguishes itself by having a housing crisis that is on parallel with Dublin, if not worse. When we talk about the average increase in rent for tenancies, for new tenancies, it's 11.6%. In Galway City, it's 12.7%, and higher and higher. We had 2002, Galway City failed to meet its targets. Of its target of 305 new bills, social homes, they reached 150. Now, I would like to point here that I'm no way critical of staff at all. I see staff and local authorities be moved all of the time, dealing with people who are under pressure and, and homeless all of the time, every day. And I might have the greatest respect for staff. However, I would reserve my anger and my frustration with city managers over the years that have failed to deal with a housing crisis. And when I was a, 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 a councillor, not a single house was built since 2009. Successive governments onwards from 2009. And as a councillor, we begged various uh, ministers, including Labour ministers, to come down as we told them the housing crisis was getting worse and worse. Well before Russia invaded Ukraine, well before COVID, we had a housing crisis deliberately caused by government policy. We were told in no uncertain terms in 2014 that the only game in town was HAP. We now know that in Galway, we have over 2,000 HAP, depending on which figures you read, over 2,000 500, actually to be precise, on these notes, 2,400. And actually the numbers of the task force are higher again. We have the same amount of people on HAP in Galway as we have social housing. And that's not even including long-term leasing. And so we have public land in Galway. We have a task force that was sent up. I heard Deputy Kennedy, ask it, Deputy Kennedy asking for a task force. A task force was set up in 2019 because of the housing crisis. It has failed to deliver one final report, analysis and suggestions and recommendations. That was set up. It has become just another layer of bureaucracy. We have land, and I keep pointing this out to you, not enough public land, but the public land we have is not subject to a master plan. And we've each group doing its own thing. And I've repeatedly pointed out what the Harbour Board are doing with public land. Land Development Agency set to take ownership of port lands for housing, six acres. You've had plenty of time to check, Minister. Will that be for public housing? Will that be 100% public housing? Or is it, is it what we were told in the headlines, premium housing only? Public land, 
going over at what price to the Land Development Agency? Surely it should be a nominal price from one public authority to another if we're seriously interested in tackling the housing crisis in Galway. I'm paid and it's a privilege to be here and I will keep using my voice, although I despair at saying practically the same thing every year. We are full of suggestions, we are full of solutions and I am tired of the zigzag across the floor of the house saying we have no solutions. I have many solutions to the housing crisis but I'm tired of a dysfunctional market you, being propped by successive governments you, including Deputy. your own. And